What's up, fellas? We're doing another What I Eat in a Day. Healthy winter meals to warm you up during those cold winter months by yours truly, one crazed foodie. I am so excited. I made my first recipe ebook. It's called Crazed Recipes. I'll link it in the description down below, but there's 46 pages of recipes, tips, essential ingredients, and more. So go check it out. Link is in the description. Started off the morning with a nice, crisp, cold brew straight to the face. No water first. We only need our cold brew. So I'm using a Starbucks cold brew from the store. It's not as strong as the regular cold brew, but it does the job. And this Simply Almond Milk. I love the ingredients in this specific milk. It's pretty tasty, so stir it on up. And what a way to start the day, you know, with a little bit of extra added energy. So good. And then we're moving on to breakfast. I, guys, I'm out of oatmeal now. So I just used what I had left, probably like a half cup, adding in some ground chia seeds. I made sure to kind of like break apart the chunks because you'll have chunks of chia seeds in your oatmeal if you don't do that. And then added in some almond milk, of course. We're cooking on the stove today, guys. I've never cooked on the stove. But the flavor profile of the oats today is chocolate peppermint. You heard that right. Perfect for winter time. I'm using this Paleo Pro Mocha Protein Powder. Just added a scoop of that in there. And then also adding in some cacao powder, which is like the unprocessed version of cocoa. And it just has like more nutrients in it than the processed cocoa powder. All right, stirring it on up on the stove. We're letting it boil, simmer, letting the oats soak up the almond milk and then adding in this peppermint extract and you cannot add too much of this it's really really strong so i added, i added like four drops only and it was like perfect so i've also had this peppermint extract from when i was like in high school don't judge me okay cinnamon sea salt and i'm adding in some egg whites too some liquid egg whites this step is optional but i didn't have enough oats so and i added too much almond milk i probably added in like two-thirds cup almond milk i think and then it just wasn't sweet enough, so I added in some coconut sugar too to close it out. You could also add maple syrup, but I didn't have any. The egg whites make the oatmeal super thick. You just have to keep stirring to make sure there's no egg white chunks, because that would be disgusting. Okay, going in with the wooden bowl, which is kind of not great for hot things like oatmeal, but I did it anyways. And then added some popcorn on top. <laughs> Random. I just honestly was looking through my pantry and just found some things. Cacao nibs, and then this chocolate hazelnut butter from Fix and Fog. It's so good. It's honestly better than Nutella. I don't like love Nutella, but this hazelnut butter was fire. And then we've got fire is my favorite word. <laughs> we got some JoJo's chocolate, some hemp seeds, and then a drizzle of. I guess I did have maple syrup. Now I'm confused. <laughs> okay. It's, it was like pretty thick, you know, it wasn't thick with 10 C's, but it was thick with like three. So honestly, it was really tasty. This flavor profile was perfect for the winter. I highly recommend. Okay, then I went to Starbucks and had more coffee. Today I got a venti cold brew with soy milk, extra soy milk and light ice. It's so good. Add some peppermint syrup in there and it's even better. Okay, lunch, I was really lazy. I've been so lazy for lunch recently. So I've been making sure I meal prep like the night before or just have extras. So we're gonna go super basic today. I've just got some cooked sweet potato that I baked in the oven for like, I don't know, an hour at 400. I let it cool in the refrigerator overnight. Now I'm just mashing it up as you can clearly see. And then I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast. If you like don't eat that much meat or animal products, nutritional yeast is great to get your vitamin B12 in. And then adding some lentils in, these are from a can. I just drained and rinsed them. And then some garlic salt and pepper. This is such a basic boring meal, but I honestly was not in the mood to cook. And now I'm adding Brussels sprouts. These are Brussels sprouts that I made from the recipe in my ebook. They're so, so good, especially in the fall, winter time. They're even better like warmed up and straight from the pan, but now I just microwaved it instead, put some more nutritional yeast on it, and there you go, that's lunch. I know it's like pretty boring, but it's really, really filling and not too heavy in the middle of the day, and it makes me feel really, really good just throughout the afternoon. And then for an afternoon snack, I had these pumpkin energy balls, the recipes on my food Instagram. And then it was dinner time already. This day flew by and I'm having more potatoes. I am the potato gal, literally Emma the potato gal. So I'm reheating these already cooked sweet potatoes in my air fryer. Don't judge me, the air fryer was already a little dirty, okay? <laughs> 
And then in the meantime, I'm gonna cut up some chicken breast. Fast forward through this if you don't like seeing cut chicken or, I, I honestly hate cooking meat. I'm really bad at it, but I've gotten better and I'm just gonna meal prep this because I just don't like cooking meat. So I cut it up, putting it in this wok. Don't ask me why I'm using a wok. I don't really know what I'm doing. I really don't know how to cook meat, like I said. Adding in some garlic salt, some pepper, you know, all the really good seasonings. But then I did go in with this curry powder because I wanted a little bit of turmeric in it, but then other spices. And curry powder low-key tastes like top ramen. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just me. Adding in some of this ghee and sunflower oil spray just to get a little bit more, I don't know, oil in this. And then added in a splash of water because it was way too dry. And I just kind of wanted to create the sauce with the spices. It wasn't a sauce. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> okay, gonna get my veggies in with some kale. I know, guys. Are you as shocked as I am? Yeah, me too. I bought a head of kale because I was just feeling it. Massaged it and then added in this Bragg's ginger and sesame dressing. It, this was really good. I was really craving kale, so I'm glad that I got it. And I never craved kale, so it was unlike me. But added the roasted sweet potato, some avocado, which was absolutely perfect, I will say. It's always the best when you open an avocado and it's the perfect ripeness. The sweet potatoes were absolutely perfect, just reheated in the air fryer. They were so crispy, and then the chicken was done, had a lot of leftovers. But this was a really filling meal, and... It was really good. I, I like really just whipped together random meals today filled with random ingredients, but really tasty. And that's the end of the video. Make sure to follow me on One Crazed Foodie on my Instagram. I post almost all of these recipes on there and obviously other ones too. So go check that out if you like healthy food and want more ideas.